God is here and he has come for you. Yeah. You will receive your miracle today. Yeah. You'll receive your miracle today. Yeah. Somebody say, I receive. Yeah. Say, I receive. I, receive. I, receive. I am talking about financial miracle. I'm talking about healing miracles. I'm talking about breakthrough miracles. Promotion miracles. Open those miracles. Victory! Come and join us at our new home at number 8 Charles Crescent in Cromerville, Santon. Service times are as follows. Every Friday evening for the teaching and healing service at 7 p.m. up until 9 p.m. Every Sunday for morning glory services at 7 a.m. up until 8. For celebration services from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. For the Holy Ghost service at 1 p.m. up until 3 p.m. Beloved Shalom, this is Pastor Aflokao. God is indeed a good God. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did yesterday, he's willing to do today in your life. I want to take this moment to invite you to come and join us for a life-changing moment on the 27th of September at 6 p.m. Your life will never be the same again. We are gathering together for an anointing service, a moment where God's anointing will be on every one of us and that the only requirement is that you may come and get yourself a bottle of anointing oil. I will pray for that bottle of anointing oil and I will release the anointing of God upon your lives. Now I want you to quickly understand that in the Bible, the anointing oil is used for five things. First is to consecrate the priest. None is a priest until the anointing oil is upon him. Second, to establish the king. You may be born to be a king one day, but until the anointing oil is poured on you, you are not yet a king. The third reason why the anointing oil is used in the word of God is to sanctify. It is the stamp of God, is God's signature. As the anointing oil will be applied on a thing, that thing is considered separated, sanctified, booked unto the Lord. The fourth reason why the anointing oil is used is to break the yoke. The Bible says the anointing breaks the yoke. And James reveals to us the last reason why the anointing oil is used is so that those who are sick may find their recovery, they find the healing. So I want you to come on the 27th, getting ready for the glory of God. We have uh, provided uh, bottles of anointing oil. We have taken time to pray for this anointing oil. You can come and get yourself one of those bottles, and I promise you, it carries the presence of God as a point of contact. It vehicles the glory of God for healing, for deliverance, for consecration, for sanctification, and for establishment of everything that God has designed in heaven for you. This is not the time to sit back. This is time for you to arise and run. This is your moment. Please understand that the things of the Spirit are not taught. They are caught. This opportunity for you is one thing that I should not pass you by. Jump for the opportunity. Join us on the 27th at 6 p.m. at number 8 Charles Crescent, Cromerville of Marlboro in Senton. Your life, I promise, will never, ever be the same again. The sick will be healed. The blind eye will open. The lamb will walk again. God will restore us. There will be breakthrough, financial breakthrough. Whatever bondage of the enemy that kept you in one place will be destroyed on the 27th. I want you to make sure that you are part of the thousands of people that will flood this place. Your miracle will wait for you. I love you, and I pray that you make it. God bless you. This is a presentation of Hallelujah Ministries International. Just as the congregation shouted unto God, someone has walked out of their hospital bed. This 
is incredible. The church cannot contain the joy and excitement of such a miracle. Even without being laid hands on, this young woman rose up and walked. Surely, AMI is the house where God dwells. Hallelujah Ministries International is a Bible-believing church. If the Bible says that you are healed, you will be healed indeed at AMI. Peter said to the lame beggar in the book of Acts, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. May you also come and experience this power with us. that a person suffering with heart failure can just rise up from her bed. At the sound of Pastor Elf's voice, the anointing power of God raised this woman and made her whole. She is still in shock about what God has done. For all the good things you have done, you have done for me. The things you do for me. Glory to the Most High God. Everyone is dancing and celebrating God for His faithfulness in the life of this woman. I've never seen this kind of before. The power of God, the power of God is in Pastor this morning when I walked in. I just went to the bed to, because the head was covered. And I said today, the man of God has decreed when he was on his knees that the power of God shall raise you up. Man of God, this is the resurrection power of God. Resurrection power. Hey. I guess for number This 
is a joyous occasion. Through the ministry of Pastor Alf Lukau, we are seeing the manifestations of God's power every day. In this day the Lord has made, we all rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody shout! Paralyze. Just for one second, her husband brought her in the other day. Maybe, what do you want to say to God? And what do you want to say to everybody trusting God for something today? I want to just thank God for what has done to my wife. I was failing to go to work. When I go to work, she was calling me, Lloyd, I'm sick. I'm not feeling good. When she came to the church, she had a problem. She couldn't even hear anything when the pastor is preaching. We have been attending. Even today, Mama was asking something. She couldn't even hear anything. So today, I thank God for Almighty what she has done to my wife. Put your hands together. Listen to me. God is here. And he has come for you. Yeah. You will receive your miracle today. Yeah. You will receive your miracle today. Yeah. Somebody say, I receive. Yeah. Say, I receive. Yeah. I am talking about financial miracle. Yeah. I'm talking about healing miracles. Yeah. I'm talking about breakthrough miracles. Yeah. Promotion miracles. Yeah. Open those miracles. Yeah. Victory! This place is filled with angels. There is a person there with your hand up. There, right there, right there. Wave. You, the first who waved. Yes, you're carrying a child. Come here. Run for it! This man is so overjoyed that today God picked him from the crowd that he even falls to his knees in worship. Thank you, Father. Come in the long way from allowing me to see this moment. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. You know, you Look at me. What did you say? Where are you from? Malawi. I've come in just for this moment. You came all the way from Malawi for this moment. Yes, yes. You trusting God to touch you, touch your wife, <laughs> touch your child. Is that correct? Is that correct? Yeah, that, that, that is it, man of God. God is telling me that I should pray for you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes. He's releasing his grace. Thank you. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my name. That's my name. That's your name. <laughs> we serve a good God. He came all the way. Let me tell you what God is saying to me now. First book of John. Yes. Chapter 1. The Lord is showing me verse 8 and verse 9. Thank you. Thank you because there shall be a cleansing that uh, will start right now. Thank you, Jesus. Where's your wife? She's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. The presence of God is so thick in this atmosphere whilst Pastor Alf is giving an accurate word of knowledge and prophecy to Brother Anthony. Hear this. If we say we do not have seen, we are liars. And making God a liar. But if we confess our sins, yes, yes. He is faithful and righteous yes. to forgive us and to purify us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is what God is saying. 
You've been forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Often we do not understand that the impact of sin brings dirt. That dirt is not just dirt on clothing. It's all the calamities that Satan can bring. That's why every time you confess your sin, God does not just forgive you. Thank you Jesus. Forgiving you is one side. The Bible says God is righteous to forgive us. And Thank you, Jesus. many of you got the forgiveness. You're waiting for the end. To forgive us and to purify us from all unrighteousness. There is a cleansing that takes place. Stretch your hands. God is blessing them. Can I have my pastors lay hands on them? Blessed be God as he is faithful and them. just to forgive us our sins. This family has Release traveled the all the way God. from Malawi because they knew that their healing would be found at AMI. Today God will now HF cleanse them from you. all unrighteousness and heal them from their this disease. This innocent child will not die. In the name of Jesus. Complete healing and deliverance. Mm. Zoholo Boshia. We serve a good God. Our God is a merciful God. He's a compassionate God. Compassionate God. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. I thank you. I give you glory, Lord, for what you said to do. For what you said to do, please, I pray, do it. Do it. Do it. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Can I pray for this gentleman? Yes, come here. You. Ah. This man just falls on his face before the man of God because he has witnessed the wonders that God has done God. through Pastor Alf. I want to bless you. I see a financial blessing coming to you. But God is saying, man, more than financial blessing, He wants to use you. He wants you to offer yourself as a living vessel in His hand. I see a lot of destruction around you. And those destructions are meant to deviate you from God. Where's your wife? She's here. Is that your wife? Yes. I thought so. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm waiting to come to this place for two years. Two years. You're, not, you, you're not part of the church. You say you've been waiting to come here. All the way from Botswana, men of God. You came all the way from Botswana. The woman I see here has an unction in her. She has an anointing in her. Something that God has given her. But that is for you. Treat her with respect and love. And listen to her. There is a spirit that has kept you bound. Sometimes it fights you in your dream. In your house. There are times where you feel that you're not alone. It's like something else is there. Very especially true. when you're praying. Very true. Is that true? Very true, man. And because of this, it seems like every time you want to take a step, something is pushing you back. Very true. Very true. You're about to get something, it disappears. You're always in the almost. Oh. You almost got there. You almost get it. Is that correct? Very correct. Very correct. God is asking me to break it. 
You came all the way from Botswana and it took you two years to get here. Yes, man of God. I was watching you on TV every day. You've been watching us on TV? Yes. Do you believe a miracle can take place today? Do you believe God can do something in their lives? My business has been down. The oppression of the enemy will leave. Hold hands. Look at me, woman. Before the 23rd of December, you will have a testimony. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands. I break the yoke of the enemy over you. Go! In the name of Jesus, I break every yoke. Every yoke. Come out! In the name of Jesus. Come out! In the name of Jesus. You false spirit. Spirit of stagnation. The blood of Jesus is against you. Now. Out! Out, I say! This couple traveled across borders from Botswana seeking the power of God in this Go. house. Watch the man of God cast out the spirit of stagnation that has been oppressing them for many years. Zeha Shia. I decree and I declare you are free to prosper. May the Lord serve visit you, visit your world in the name of Jesus. Beloved, Shalom, this is Pastor Aflokao. God is indeed a good God. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did yesterday, he's willing to do today in your life. I want to take this moment to invite you to come and join us for a life-changing moment on the 27th of September at 6 p.m. Your life will never be the same again. We are gathering together for an anointing service, a moment where God's anointing will be on every one of us and that the only requirement is that you may come and get yourself a bottle of anointing oil. I will pray for that bottle of anointing oil and I will release the anointing of God upon your lives. Now I want you to quickly understand that in the Bible, the anointing oil is used for five things. First is to consecrate the priest. None is a priest until the anointing oil is upon him. Second, to establish the king. You may be born to be a king one day, but until the anointing oil is poured on you, you are not yet a king. The third reason why the anointing oil is used in the word of God is to sanctify. It is the stamp of God, is God's signature. As the anointing oil will be applied on a thing, that thing is considered separated, sanctified, booked unto the Lord. The fourth reason why the anointing oil is used is to break the yoke. The Bible says the anointing breaks the yoke. And James reveals to us the last reason why the anointing oil is used is so that those who are sick may find their recovery, they find the healing. So I want you to come on the 27th, getting ready for the glory of God. We have uh, provided uh, bottles of anointing oil. We have taken time to pray for this anointing oil. You can come and get yourself one of those bottles, and I promise you, it carries the presence of God as a point of contact. It vehicles the glory of God for healing, for deliverance, for consecration, for sanctification, and for a establishment of everything that God has designed in heaven for you. This is not the time to sit back. This is time for you to arise and run. This is your moment. Please understand that the things of the spirit are not taught. They are caught. This opportunity for you is one thing that I should not pass you by. Jump for the opportunity. Join us on the 27th at 6 p.m. at number 8 Charles Crescent, Cromerville 
of Marlboro in Sentin, your life, I promise, will never, ever be the same again. The sick will be healed. The blind eye will open. The lamb will walk again. God will restore us. There will be breakthrough, financial breakthrough. Whatever bondage of the enemy that kept you in one place will be destroyed on the 27th. I want you to make sure that you are part of the thousands of people that will flood this place. Your miracle will wait for you. I love you and I pray that you make it. God bless you. Pastor Alf Lucao is a humble servant used mightily by God to bring healing and deliverance to his people. Through his ministry, thousands of lives have been transformed. Salvation of the lost, the blind see, the lame walk, sicknesses of all kinds being healed. Thousands of people testify to being healed of all kinds of incurable diseases such as HIV AIDS, cancers, organ malfunction and many more. The anointing upon the life of Pastor Alf Lucao is unique. The Lord has truly raised him up to be a blessing to this generation. This is your opportunity to come and join Pastor Alf Lucao for your miracle. Are you sick? No matter what your problem is, your healing is certain in God. Cow. I believe tomorrow is a good day for us. And every time I come here, I feel so anointed. Pastor Africa is a man of God. I feel so blessed. Come and join us. We are all blessed here. Look how we are right now. How we look. I love Alleluia Ministries. Come and join us at our new home at number 8 Charles Crescent in Cromerville, Santon. Service times are as follows. Every Friday evening for the teaching and healing service at 7 p.m. up until 9 p.m. Every Sunday for morning glory services at 7 a.m. up until 8 For celebration services from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m for the Holy Ghost service at 1 p.m. up until 3 p.m.